little bit about the other work in this country. So it's an actual context. So about a couple of months ago, I don't really quite remember how long. Before I came, or more. Please ask me if I could do something in, uh, for N frame, for the N frame trade series. Yeah. And it would be And so yeah, I came here, and the viewer, she was showing me around the space, and I was trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, so let's see the space was right to do for it. And I still have uh, a note here when I started. When I formed the library, which is like the first thing that I thought about when I was going to be here, was um, I thought, okay, what am I? Uh, I wanted to try video mapping. I don't know if you guys know what uh, video mapping is. It's basically um, uh, mapping an image onto, the, onto a, a strangely shaped screen so that uh, the, the screen and the image become kind of more integrated. So the my idea was that, because usually you use the video to map an object in order to make the object surfaces appear to have video. So I mean, it's a cube, there's video here on one surface and video on the other surface. Or if there's like three sides of the cube visible, different kinds of video on each, on each uh, side of the cube, and it's undistorted. But I wanted to, I was thinking, would it be possible to use video mapping in reverse? Meaning that when you project on an on, uh, on an asymmetrical surface, on a strange surface, and eliminate the walls, so kind of make the walls appear to be transparent or to be not there. So I was thinking that it would be what I would really like to do is like project on all these walls some kind of like panoramic background so that it would appear that you go up the stairs and you were in a, like another green world. Something. Obviously, it didn't work out that way because it turned out that um, the lenses could not throw a big enough um, image that I could, so that I could have actually eliminate all the walls because I would have to eliminate at least two walls and see them create the floor. Um, but the idea of creating a different world up here was sort of like the main. And then I, I realized that um, the other thing that struck me about the space was the staircase. It formed a natural um, transition to do to, to this space. So after thinking about, so building on that first impression that you know, it would be a good idea to make another planet so on the second floor, uh, I just thought, OK, something to do with like so I was thinking the staircase could be mapped with something so that the entrance upstairs did not turn to be did not would not become an ordinary stairway or an ordinary stairway. It would become like a magical, you know, some kind of like Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole kind of thing. A magical transition. So I was sort of yeah, inspired by this episode of Doctor Who in 2005 called A Girl in a Fireplace in 2004. I really like that one because it's a time travel story, but all the time travel portals are just like, you, know, you, open, you, turn, you open the curtain and there's a hole and there's a spaceship there, or you go to look in a fireplace and stuff like that. So it's it, it sort of like was uh, made me remember all these old fairy tales where the actual magical door was an actual door. Um, it in other lines, a hole or a mirror. Uh, I think in Narnia it's like a cupboard. It's a, it's a cupboard. And I think in, uh, in, in the old Star Trek, there's the Star Trek episode called Sitting on the Edge of Forever. There's an actual sort of like arch that you walk through it. Or this old TV show called The Time Funnel. The actual way you went from time, from you know, different times to a funnel. So I was thinking, okay, something like that. You know, make the there's a trans there's a there's a stairway in the gallery, and I can make the stairway you know, uh, transition. Uh, I, I, that kind of a, that kind of a magical uh, 
passage. So that must be that was where the idea of the passage came from. So I thought, okay, I'll make the stairway walk me down the water. So it's like a fairy tale. And you know, can we turn that down? Can we turn down the I was going to wind up talking about the sound later, but I think in the meantime it's a little it's a little distracting. So anyway, so I thought, okay, staircase of water. So so that when you enter, there's like this some there's some kind of space, something is there, then you go up this staircase that appears to be that that is Although it's clearly a staircase and it's clearly, you know, there's just a video projected on it, it's still, you can't help but feel that there's something weird or uncanny or, you know, something different about it. So that it is obviously not an ordinary, an extraordinary staircase. So, a staircase made of water. Made, made, so you climb a staircase out of water, water that flows upwards, and then you find what? So I thought, okay. Then let it be. And so instead of uh, instead of like another dream world, I was thinking, okay, like this. To be this was like what the video mapping idea be. Make a tunnel that violates the room space because obviously but a tunnel should go like that. But a tunnel would go like that. So it goes, you know, against uh, the rectilinear whatever. So that you wind up going, you know, there's this garden somewhere else. There's this garden and you know there's a gate. So it's obviously some so there's I think there's some like, like memories of fairyland. It's like a world that you could go to, but these days the entrance is not being used anymore. And if the and if so if the structures of physics were just to sort of like blink just a little bit, you could walk through that kind of idea. And so this is what the mapping thing comes to, right? So, although the image is like broken up and into like little pieces over here, there's a sweet spot there for everybody, where if you stand, all the pieces come together in the same way, and you know you can see the, the entrance. That's sort of like part of the part of the idea I think, that you know only under very special circumstances would you be able to cross over. If you were sort of like there, then you saw it correctly. Paid proper attention, then you know, you'd be able to walk through the way people used to walk through all those years ago. Then the last problem was like, what are you going to do in the first floor? Like, why? What, what's on the first floor so that the transition is a, so that you wind up going to a stairway of water? And I thought the good thing there, the idea, an interesting idea there would be, uh, what if the bottom was kind of a Kind of a, a clearing space or like a, a transition space, you know, like a loading dock where a, a lot of you could see the glimpse, where you could get a glimpse of like different rituals or operations just passing through there. So, like if you're in a hospital, so then you see somebody like passing by with like a, I don't know, somebody on a stretcher, you know, and then all the relatives are really really upset or there's somebody going by in a wheelchair, there's like somebody carrying like this weird machine or in a, in a loading dock there might be like, you know, carcasses and cows or something and then some, somebody yelling because the truck has to turn to the right or like that. So just a place where there's like a bunch of, you, you see the, the, the tail end or the middle of various processes, you don't know what they are. They all have, they seem to know what they're doing. So I was thinking like that. So that's what the door was there. It was, you know, I was thinking that the door mirrored this entrance so that obviously the door was being used for something, but you don't know what. It's obviously a different kind of door because here there's a door that humans can pass through even if they have a, a stair of water. And over there, there's a door which is obviously being used by something or could be used by maybe people you wouldn't see. Something like that. And so, once I had that idea, then I realized that the, but emotionally, it should be something 
like when you go into a strange place and looking back and you're not an insider, everything is kind of threatening and big and strange. So I was like going going back to the idea of a fairy tale, which would be threatening and strange, the way say you're a child in a house and you you can hear maybe adults arguing or fighting in another room somewhere upstairs. There are loud noises, there's doors slamming, but you're not involved, you don't know what's going on, and it's kind of far away but threatening. That's what the, 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 the sound and the atmosphere of the is supposed to be. And I think for that, medyo, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of successful, because I think even during the opening, there was some girls who sort of like walk in, and that's they just like that, and they just stop, you know, and go like that. <laughs> because it's it's you know, it's a threat. You can feel you can feel it. Actually, it was something that was very that was um, kind of different for me here. It's usually when I I mean a lot of my art involved is very technical. This is already kind of like pretty simple for me. Because a lot of my art does involve like programming, uh, electronics, whatever. So it's a very left brain kind of practice. But for this one, it was really it was really more like I was using a kind of you know, kind of like feeling things out with my feeling, feeling things out with my skin or something. So with the sound, what would it feel like? You know, would, it, would, it, would it feel threatening? Would you feel how would it feel like? So that's so so it was sort of like by listening to a different part of my brain, that was sort of the new thing there. That's how I started my thinking about the space. Downstairs should be like threatening and maybe kind of incomprehensible. Find this stairway, and then there's a promise on the other side of it. A promise that still could be kept if you're, if you're in the right frame of mind, or if you're a child, or if the light was on. 